In this video, I'll show you how to align a baseline grid to a modular grid in InDesign. Here's what the baseline grid looks like. Here's the modular grid. And here they are together. Baseline grids let you line up your text precisely from page to page, whereas modular grids give you a flexible system to organize content. Combine the two and you get the best of both worlds. Now I'll show you how I set this one up so you can just copy me. When you're building out a baseline grid, the first step is to determine your leading. Because the leading, or the space between your rows of text, are the building blocks of your document. Now if we were making a column grid, we could wing it. The leading could be flexible. But since we're making a modular grid, we have to make a decision right now what our leading is going to be. Not only that, but it should be a round number that's easily divisible. 10 and 12 are great options. However, I'm going to go with 12 because then I can make my font size between 9.5 and, and 10 points, which I think is an optimal size for running text. The next step is to determine your document size. This is easily the second most important decision. Since our leading is 12 point, our document size needs to be a multiple of 12. So what you want to do is go into your preferences, select units and increments, then change your units to points. You can change it back later, but during the setup process, it's helpful for the document size to be expressed in the same units of measure as the leading. Now that I've adjusted my units, I'm going to head to the document setup and set up the page size. I'm going to go with 600 points width and 840 points height. This is roughly 8.5 by 11.5 inches. The key here is to make your page height divisible by 12. Why 12? Well, because that's the letting we chose. If we chose 10 point letting, we divide it by 10. So now you can see why we chose the letting first and why we chose an easy number like 12, not 12.4. Now what about the margins? Let's go ahead and add 36 points to each side, except for the bottom where we'll make it 48 point. That's about a half an inch. And if you notice, 36 and 48 are divisible by 12. This is important because if I chose 40 point margins, I would end up with 3.3333 rows, and it would be impossible to align the modular grid. So we're going for clean whole numbers all around. Alright, let's turn on the baseline grid. To do that, go up top to the menu, select View, select Grids and Guides, and select Show Baseline Grid. By default, the view threshold is set to 75%. That means you have to be viewing your document at at least 75% of full size in order to see it. So if I zoom in, the baseline grid appears. And if I zoom out, it disappears. I'm going to go ahead and change the view threshold so that we don't have to be zoomed in to see it. To do that, I'm going to go up top to the menu again, select InDesign, select Preferences, and select Grids. Now I'll change the view threshold to 25%. I'm also going to change the grid color to light gray, which is a personal preference, and I'm going to make it relative to the top margin. I'm also going to change the start point to zero. Notice how the increments of the baseline grid are set to 12 point. This is perfect because it's already congruent with our desired letting. However, if you wanted your letting to be 10 point, you'd want to change that number to 10. And now I'll press OK. Now that I have the document size and margin set up, the baseline grid is turned on and settings are dialed in, I can now create the modular grid and it should line up perfectly. However, in order to figure out how many rows I need, I need to do some quick math. So first we're going to subtract the top and bottom margin from the document height, and that gives us 768 points. Divide that by 12, and we get 64. So what that means is we can have 8 rows with 7 lines per row. And the one line left over is for the gutter. So let's go up top to the menu, select Layout, then select Create Guides. I'm going to enter in 8 rows and 6 columns. Now I'll hit OK. So that's it. That's how I created this modular baseline grid. And here's a page I made with it. Keep in mind that every project is different, and the success of any grid lies not just in the setup, but in choosing the right type of grid for your content. 
You may start with a modular grid and find that it's not working. If that's the case, take a step back, evaluate the content, and figure out what type of system will serve that content best. Hopefully you got something from this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. It really helps grow the channel. And until the next time, thank you and goodbye.